if you are hiding and i am not able to find you i'm telling you you will not be able to complete your paper telling you with experience people who hide they don't communicate they don't get to complete their paper you need a continuous motivation and that's why we are here continuous motivators okay so now uh, let's talk about the plan i keep coming on plan but then uh, questions come up and i get distracted so you write down the plan that i'm writing a traditional review now how will my paper look like write down this heading how will my paper look like everyone please open a piece of paper and a pen and have a pen right now right now hold it i'm telling you the plan for your paper write down the heading my plan everyone got it write down my plan of paper and if uh, uh, those people who did not attend this live session today they can watch it fast forward to save your time okay time is the most important thing you can watch it fast forward if you revise it again this session make it fast forward save your time youtube allows a fast forward right but watch it multiple times and uh, take take notes now what i'm talking about write down my plan of paper writing second thing is my topic what is your topic have you decided your topic not yet then decide your topic but right now leave it blank leave it blank for now the third thing is the structure of my paper that's your third heading structure of your paper how will the structure be look uh, be like how will the structure be like first heading will be abstract so you say okay my first my plan is my first heading will be abstract your sec second heading will be introduction introduction your third heading will be method your fourth heading will be results your fifth heading would be discussion your sixth heading would be conclusion your seventh heading would be acknowledgement your eighth heading would be references let's repeat again how do you remember it it is called as imrad format i m r a d imrad i for introduction m for method r for results a is nothing a is just a and d and d for discussion this is called as imrad format and before imrad there is an abstract at the, on the top and then at the bottom is the acknowledgement acknowledgement is optional and then references is a must now what section so once we have written this let's say your plan was to write a traditional review then method and results are optional remember this so you can say i'll think about it method and results to keep it or not because i'm writing a traditional review but if you're writing a systematic review then method and results are a must requirement method and results are a must requirement okay now the next plan what guidelines or checklist will i use next heading would be what checklist or gu guidelines will i use to write my paper if it's a systematic review write down prisma prisma checklist p as in uh, pakistan r as in russia i as in india s as in sri lanka m as in minnesota a as in america prisma prisma checklist prisma stands for preferred reporting items for systematic reviews and meta analysis preferred reporting items for systematic reviews and meta analysis so this is the checklist that you will use to write hold on i'm coming to that silpa silpa i'm coming to that and if it's a systematic review it's a prisma right but if it's a, it's a traditional review sanra checklist s a n r a s a n r a sanra s as in sam a as in america n as in nevada r as in russia a as in america again sanra okay follow sanra checklist if you are writing a traditional review if you are writing a systematic review you follow prisma checklist if you are writing both one paper systematic review one traditional review you can do it if you have time if you have uh, if you were unmatched this year and you have 6 months now i would recommend try to write as many papers as possible try to cross double digit double digit publication guys things are becoming being tough if you have less than double digit publications before you apply for match you are not a strong candidate i'm telling you a very very rigid sentence a very very rigid line that you are not one of the best candidates if you don't have double digit publications because i'm seeing something that you guys don't see i can see something that you guys don't see so please try to try to understand try to take your life seriously guys try to take your life seriously and resolve the resolution that resolve promise yourself 